G'day, well this is just a little explanation of the project Create and Maintain a Basic Web Blog. We're trying to create a handbook for blogging in the Wiki Educator. Uh, the page is wikieducator.org slash create underscore and underscore maintain underscore a underscore basic underscore web blog. I'm thinking to move the whole page once it's done probably um, to just a sub page, uh, just to a page called blogging. So that'd be wikieducator.org slash blogging. We've broken it up into sections, steps to blogging. We're looking at blogs, set up a blog, manage a blog, using a blog, and then getting the most out of your blog. And the first thing we're doing, well, now let's have a look at each of those sections. So looking at a blog, we have what is a blog, searching for blog, and then an introduction to subscribing to blogs. Now, if we look, if we click that link, this will go to a sub page to this main page. And you see up in the URL, we have create and maintain a basic web blog. And then we have what is a blog. And so we have a picture, introductory text that's come from Wiki uh, Wikipedia in this example. And then we have a list of learning activities. So if we look at looking at specialist blogs, and that's rated as moderate by the author, we have an introduction to the activity. Then we have steps, steps one, two, and three going through the activity there and then the resources that are mentioned in the activity right so if we go back to that particular page what is a blog you see there are other activities we've got activities for artist blogs health professionals business education travel and tourism so if we look at artist blog you see it's empty it's so that link there called artist blog was just a suggestion for an activity called artist blogs an activity looking at artists using blogging and so we have the template there we have the intro text we have the objective we have an activity one two three or four five six if you want and then the resources listed and there's the um, empty box waiting for a photo if we wanted to load one so go back to what is a blog and we have health professionals business education all of those are empty templates so now if we go back to create and maintain a basic web blog that's the main page Just to review, we've just had a look then in what is a blog. So for now, if we look at searching for blogs, the same structure appears. It's a sub page, create and maintain a basic web blog, searching for blogs, introductory text, and then a list of activities. And these ones here haven't been made links yet, but they'll be made links to their own pages. So if we look at this activity, finding blogs that interest you, and the same structure an intro to the whenever it loads an intro to the activity uh, steps one two three four five there are five steps in this activity and then the resources listed so the idea behind that sort of structure is that each activity page can be printed independently so um, a teacher who might be working with a group of um, well, let's say artists, will want to sample the activity sheets that are relevant to artists. So if um, somebody came in and created our activity sheet for um, artist blogs, then we'd hope that, and that one was in looking at blogs, then we'd hope that they'd have an activity sheet prepared for an artist who wants to set up a blog, an artist who wants to manage a blog, an artist using a blog, and then an artist who's trying to get the most out of their blog. So it would be great then for then a teacher who's working with artists to be able to go through and find all of those activity sheets that are designed relevant to artists and print them out and run a workshop face-to-face, -face, hand out those worksheets as a booklet, and we all go through that self-paced with uh, learning support. Remember, the objective of this, this particular development is to create a handbook. But it's not just one handbook. So if we can get as many people as we can involved in creating activity sheets around those themes, looking at blogs, setting up a blog, manage blog, using a blog, and getting the most out of a blog, and each one of those have little sub-themes. Here's getting the most of your blog, using media, using RSS, widgets, and do more with, your com with commenting. Then we can have potentially quite a number of different sort of handbooks. They're all consistent with their um, sections that I've listed but they all have slightly different approaches to the way of doing an activity. They might be focusing on artist blogs, they might be focusing on business blogs, they might be in a different language to English, etc., etc.
and so that a person can come through, print out the sheets that they need, bind them, and hand them out as a handbook. So in fact, what we're creating is uh, more than one handbook, but it is just a handbook um, project. Now, um, of course, creating your own activity sheets from scratch would be probably more time consuming than finding existing activity sheets. For example, this do do more with commenting uh, is entirely made up of other people's work that was licensed for us to copy. And so uh, from time to time I go out and I search for uh, activities that already exist and, and link them here. So if I find something that is an activity for people showing people how to blog, I might come back onto this page and I'll edit this particular area, links added manually, and then add it in here with a description. Um, I've been pretty slack with that actually. Um, most of these are probably not activities because um, they were added quite some time ago. But if you knew of an activity out there that was licensed to copy, it would be great then if you could just click edit there and paste the link in here with the direction so that we can turn that into an activity sheet in the appropriate part of the, of the handbook. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we're working pretty hard towards finishing or getting this handbook somewhere near finished with as much variety as possible. So your help be very much appreciated.